his concept of freedom of speech is a very limited concept of freedom of speech for people who are already in positions of power and um, and does not have a great concern or really even a great understanding of freedom of speech for people who are routinely denied that freedom. He actually uh, silenced some of his critics when it comes to people talking about Tesla. And um, he, he cannot take it when somebody, you know, attack a certain product. And so it's going to be a really, that's going to be the tough point for him to say that it's going to be free speech. Free speech for you is uh, hate speech for somebody else. Free speech for you is, uh, you know, a violation for, you know, the laws and the policies of this country. This is what he said about, uh, uh, you know, the... Uh, the banned account. He said he doesn't believe in that. He said should be um, should be banned temporary. Basically, I can ban you for a year uh, and then you can come back. He doesn't believe in the permanent blocking of people or kicking them out of the platform. And that's opened the door for all the speculation about all the people being banned, you know, the, the past few years. And uh, at the top of them is President, uh, you know, uh, the, the former President uh, Trump. I think those of us who follow content moderation have heard lots of platforms say they want to be a free speech platform, and yet that means a lot of different things. Um, and what it doesn't mean is not moderating content, right? So hey, no matter how uh, how many platforms have come before and say we're going to be the free speech platform, they all moderate content. They all find, even if they don't want to, they find that they have to. It's just they, they, it's just not possible to have a site where they allow everything that users submit to be published.